All right, so continuing with our letter A week, we are going to make airplanes. So I cut out, I just kind of free hand style airplanes. They're not the best, but I think you can tell they're airplanes at least. So I just cut out um, a pile for each of the kids and all the colors. And we're gonna take tissue paper. I cut out some scissors. I figured maybe Zane would wanna practice cutting out some pieces and then we're gonna crinkle them up and use for clouds. And then I'm just gonna let the kids glue their airplanes on. So that'll be all that entails. And if they wanna keep going, then maybe we'll get out markers and color on them or something. We'll get you some glue then. Good job. That's going to be our clouds. Okay, that's plenty of glue in that spot, honey. They know too much, too much. That's what we're trying to work on right now. Okay, a little bit of glue, plenty. Okay, move us to the next spot. All right, Layla just finished gluing hers on. Hers turned out really cute. Zane is pretty much doing his himself, so... It's how he wants to do it. He didn't want to crinkle his tissue paper up much. Some of them. Good job. You're ready for airplanes now. Is this a fun project? Mm. It's okay. Just stick it back down. All right, then you can stick one of your airplanes on there. I like glue sticks better because you can't put a ton on. <laughs> You're gonna put an airplane in that glue? A little bit more. Turn it up. Give Layla some crayons to color. Green one over there. Very nice. There's lots of airplanes in your sky. All right, here they are. Zane did his all on his own. He did really good. And Layla's is really cute too. She had my help though, because she's one. Zane's three. But yeah, I think they turned out cute. Zane found this word search book in the coloring book drawer which is obviously over his head, but I was trying to get him to find the A's and circle them. Are there any more A's? That's a D. Do you see any more A's? Here we have B. That's a B. That's the letter we're gonna do next week. Any more A's? Zane is working on his A worksheet. He hasn't made it very far. I try to make this as stress-free as possible and fun. So if he's not doing things exactly right, I don't stress him out about it. It's supposed to be fun. Okay, and I have another thing I'm going to try and incorporate into our um, letter of the week. Uh, and I also was reading some articles online, and I've been told that teaching the sound is actually more important than teaching the actual letter. So I'm going to try and focus more on teaching the sound. So we've been talking about A makes the A ah sound. And then I have this Toddler Time Brain Kids book. I think I got it at Walmart maybe a year ago um, when they, they had all their back to school stuff and I love this book. And for the letters... I'm going to try. It has pages for the letters. It has other questions too in the book, but it does have a section on letters that asks these questions. So I'm going to ask these questions every day for each of the letters. Um, so the next week we'll do these ones with B. And then, yeah, Zane loves these. We call these brain games. Because also, I'll show you real quick. After you get beyond the letters, it has numbers, which I'm also trying to figure out how I want to incorporate math and numbers into our preschool um, at home. 
And then it just has questions in the book. What color is this apple? Oh, these are colors. I'm listing the colors. And then in the back farther, it just has like regular questions. These ones, it sings a little song. You sing a song and then it asks you a question about it. And then, yeah, just random one. What is this comfy thing we sit on? Does the picture show morning or bedtime? The animals, things, and trees. What is it? What is this food? So Zane is actually, now that he's three, he's kind of beyond this stuff. But um, it's still fun for him. And I also remember reading that it is good for kids to still do things that are easy for them. Because if you do all things that challenge them, it kind of frustrates them and doesn't makes them not want to continue doing them. All right, I guess we're going to do brain games. What is that? Elephant. No, it's a hippopotamus. <laughs> Go. No, it's an <laughs> elephant. All right, which do we use to clean our hands? Soap. Good job. What do we say when we want something? Please. Good job. What is this brown animal? Bear. Good job. What is this? A sandwich. Yeah. What is this leafy green vegetable? Um, salad. But do you know what we use to make salad? Yeah. Lettuce. All right, what do we say if we accidentally break something? Um, no. Yeah, but what do you say? If you accidentally break something, what should you say? You should say, I'm... Sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. answers. All right, which animal is a cat? Good job. What sound does a cat make? Meow. Yeah, meow. All right, which picture shows a playground? Which picture shows a playground, Zane? Good job. All right, is this girl mad or happy? Happy. Good job.